Welcome to Tablet Talk presented by Leecom. I'm here with Tyson Jost. What the first time on Tablet Talk? How do you feel? This is special. I'm excited. I'm excited. excited. Okay. Yeah. I'm excited. You do the talking because my voice <laughs> is gone. Let's take a look at a couple of your plays here and goals that you've had. This is against the Winnipeg Jets. Um, you end up getting a puck in the slot and in one motion, receive and release. Like how tricky is that skill to be able to, to pick the corner like you did? Yeah, it's something we work on a lot. I mean, goalies are so good now. It's, I mean, you know how it is, eh? these goalies, I, I would, these goalies. I, would, I maybe would have had a chance on that one, maybe. Uh, but yeah, it's just something we work a lot on in practice, just getting it off quick and, and not getting, giving the goalie time to, to set up. I mean, in the NHL now, if there's a point blank shot and goalies have time to get set to that shooter, it's it's difficult to try and pick corners. So you can kind of see there, I got, I got the release off before he was able to set his feet. And that's something that we work on on practice all the time, but we talk about Vic's play? That's, I was going to say, uh, like, that's a I nice rewinded class, it. Eh? <laughs> like, the fact that Victor looks like he's stuck right here. He's got two jets on him, and he's able to spin around and put it between two other players beautiful. to your stick. Yeah, beautiful. Like, yeah. The guy is a goal scorer, <laughs> but he's a passer. He does it all. Yeah, I asked him about that too. I'm like, did you know that I was going like kind of back post mode slot? Because you can kind of see when I... You rewind it, you see Vic here when he's on, he's on his backhand when he gets it. Yeah. And he sees me kind of sitting in the slot, like right here. He, he kind of looked right before that. Yeah, I knew Shifley was going to jump, so I was like, I'm going to try and sneak around him and see if Vic knows that I'm kind of going back post. And it just worked out perfect. What a pass. This one here against uh, the Tampa Bay Lightning. Um, you guys come into the zone, and obviously there's four check. In your line, I've been really good on the four check. I think you've been a catalyst on that. Um, and I mean the hard work part of the game before you score a goal yeah. like a lot of time you see who scored you see the puck go in the net you don't realize the hard work for the first 30 seconds that led to it can you like when you guys get back to the bench do you talk about it yeah for sure I mean it's not even like the first 30 seconds or whatever it's the three or four shifts even before that like okay. you can kind of just like feel it coming like you come back to the bench and you're like we're building momentum here, like let's keep that up, let's get on pucks. But yeah, that's how so many of our goals are scored right now, is getting it on the four check. And you can even see, if you go back to that little battle that was in the corner with Gus and I there, um, when it, when this puck comes to me here, I know Gus is right there, and I know, I, I heard Oki talking too, but I like did a little bit of a chip here to Gus, and I'm yelling at him, weak side rim, weak side rim, because we knew all their guys were collapsed. Um, and actually right before this shift too, Donnie, <laughs> Donnie in between the intermission was saying you need to get on that half wall and you're going to have space and you're going to come and be able to get that puck and walk to the middle. So it's funny. That's exactly how we drew it up. And I got back to the bench and he came and tapped me on the shoulder and he's like, what did I tell you there? I was like, that's pretty good coachability, eh? Yeah, <laughs> so. it, well, it's good coachability and good student <laughs> yeah, to do exactly, it, right? Yeah, exactly. So, so you're coachable yeah. as well. Do you have a, a special curve to be able to elevate that puck quickly? I actually used to have a bigger toe curve and I switched to this one because it's a little bit easier. <laughs> the toe curve sometimes, I could have been up in the rafters. So <laughs> I, I dialed it down a little bit. Field goal. Yeah, 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 exactly. Yeah. That so. doesn't work in, in, in hockey. <laughs> yeah. um, and then the last one is against Washington. That was a big goal again. You guys with Mitzi and, and, and Vic, you guys get on the, on the four check again. You actually presented your stick for a shot a couple of times. So right here, you're like, okay, I'm ready for the deflection. Like your stick's on the ice, yeah. you're ready. You're showing it to uh, to Owen in this play. It doesn't come, and they try to get to your stick two or three times. Are you leaning on it? Like, are you hard on your stick? Yeah, I mean, you're, you gotta be ready for the puck. You know someone's either gonna come underneath your triangle or over top of you. And I mean, when you have guys like OP and Mets, like their, their vision is so, so good. So you gotta be ready for that puck all the time and having your stick and presenting that. And um, I think it kind of changes the shooter's mind. I mean, Mitz right here could, could shoot, yeah. but I think because I'm in that position and I'm calling for it and I'm, I'm presenting myself, if I'm up here and have my stick by my waist, it's not gonna come to me, it's not gonna be a goal. But yeah, you gotta be hard on those areas too. And you know there's gonna be a lot of traffic, a lot of stick traffic and stuff like that. So you gotta have a strong bottom hand and, and be ready for that. So When it hits your stick, do you know you got a deflection or do you have to look at the replay after <laughs> the fact? Um, I mean, sometimes you don't. That one I knew I could feel it, yeah. and then um, it popped up in the air, and I was like trying to whack at it because I was like, hopefully this goes in, and it kind of lobbed in there. It's like a little 60 degree wedge on the side of the green, but um, <laughs> sometimes you don't know when you're looking at it after. I think I actually said uh, to Mitzi here, I was like, I'm pretty sure that went off my stick. I don't know, and he's like, yeah, it did. I saw it, so. So making sure I, mean, I don't want to steal his yeah. goal if it's not mine, so I was making sure. Yeah, uh, that's awesome. Well, this was great, Tyson. 
Thank you very much awesome. for stopping by. Yeah, thank here. you. Your first appearance on Tablet Talk. Hopefully, I'll be back. <laughs>